Hello, welcome to Sonography Radiology Training Channel. In this series of videos, a case with one teaching point is presented. This is the 11th video in this video series about cervical ectopic pregnancy. A 25-year-old pregnant woman in first pregnancy referred for fetus ultrasound at 6 weeks of gestation to determine the position of the pregnancy sought by transvaginal ultrasound. She had no history of previous instrumentation, cervical or uterine surgery or any other risk factors. In transvaginal ultrasound image, as you can see, endometrial thickening is seen but no evidence of gestational site in endometrial cavity and here in endocervical canal below the internal also there is a gestational sac. The gestational sac has an eccentric location embedded in the wall of the cervix as the trophoblastic tissue invades the cervical mucosa. The gestational sac contains an alive embryo but with a poor fetal heart rate. These findings suggestive of cervical ectopic pregnancy. Cervical ectopic pregnancy occur when the fertilized ovum implants directly into the wall of the cervix below the internal cervical os. Cervical ectopic pregnancy is rare but potentially life-threatening complication of pregnancy. It compromises less than 1% of all EPs and has an incidence of 1 in 10,000 births. Risk factors for cervical ectopic pregnancy include previous instrumentation, cervical or uterine surgery, abortion or curettage, IVF, uterine anomalies, leomyomas, synesia, Usherman syndrome, previous caesarean delivery, IUD placement, and pelvic inflammatory disease. Distinguishing a cervical pregnancy from an impending or inevitable miscarriage in which the gestational sac is being evacuated and passing through the endocervical canal may be difficult. In this transabdominal image, we can see a spontaneous abortion in progress. This patient presented with vaginal bleeding one week after documentation of an intrauterine pregnancy. The gestational sac is centrally located within the endocervical canal and appears partially extruded through the external cervical os. In patients with an impending miscarriage, the gestational sac will be centrally located within the endocervical canal. The surrounding cervical stroma will be symmetric in thickness, often best appreciated on transverse images. The gestational sac may have an irregular flattened or crenated border without surrounding vascularity. The presence of trophoblastic blood follow or embryonic cardiac activity increases the likelihood that a gestational sac in the cervix is a cervical EP, but can sometimes be seen in aborting intrauterine products. The sliding sac sign can help to differentiate an aborting gestational sac from a cervical EP. When gentle pressure is applied to the cervix by transvaginal transducer, the aborting gestational sac will slide up and down in the endocervical canal, whereas such movement will not occur with an implanted cervical ectopic pregnancy. At the end, please pay attention to this teaching point. Also, cervical EP is rare and is almost always seen in women with certain risk factors, it may also be seen in women with a first pregnancy without any risk factors. Now, I suggest two others of my videos that are close in this video in terms of matter. Thank you for your attention.